Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having an awesome start to 2017. So far my start has been pretty good. Um, and I thought I'd make you guys start even better by going ahead and giving you my yearly favorites for 2016. Or my best in beauty for 2016. I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet. But I have some really great things. I feel like 2017 was a pretty good year for makeup for me. I didn't wear a lot closer to the end of 2016. But during the beginning of 2016, I was wearing makeup a lot more. Um, and just like I had more free time to do it more. Um, but as the year closed out, I got really busy and didn't have much time to do more than like a mascara and like a lip gloss or something. So I don't have a whole bunch. I don't want to ramble for too long because I don't want this video to be really long. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and drop a comment down below. So I'm going to do this in the order that you would do your face, starting with like face primer and going all the way down to like lipstick or lip gloss or setting spray. So the first and only face primer I'm going to mention, now some of these aren't, like they didn't get released in 2016, I want to put that disclaimer out real fast, but they are like my most used products of 2016, so keep that in mind. Now my only face primer I'm going to use, or I'm going to mention that I used in 2016 that I'm pretty sure is in my uh, last year's video that I did for 2015 is the Maybelline Master Prime um, Blur and Smooth Primer. This is by Face Studio. This is what the packaging looks like. I absolutely love this primer. I feel like it's so great at keeping my makeup on and making it last a considerably long amount of time. I feel like it helps it really helps prolong the last of my makeup like I feel like when I do this my makeup lasts like a good what I want to say seven to ten hours anywhere depending on my day and when I put it on it says it's lightweight it's a non oily formula which I agree with I do not find this formula oily at all and coming from somebody who has oily skin like I do um that's like a good thing like obviously like if I don't find it oily you guys should have shouldn't have a hard time finding it like you guys shouldn't find it oily unless your skin is a lot worse than mine um it says it um blurs skin tone imperfections and smooths out fine lines um I haven't noticed if it really does too much of that I don't kind of like notice or keep look for that keep like an eye out for that kind of stuff as I'm doing my makeup but I do know it's a really great primer it really prolongs the wear of my makeup and my foundation so I definitely love this and I would say go and like go to the drugstore get it try it out I love it two years in a row moving on to foundations I have two foundations to mention for this year. The first one is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. I wear it in the shade 100 Ivory. Actually, I think this isn't my color anymore. This is what it looks like. It is lightweight shine control. Um, it's all day shine control. I feel like this is a really great like mousse foundation for the drugstore. I absolutely love this foundation. I feel like this foundation actually does a really good job at keeping me matte like throughout the day as I'm wearing it. Like I'll look in the mirror and my skin won't look oily a lot of times with foundations that even claim to be matte. I still notice oil throughout the day. It is a really nice lightweight foundation like I don't even feel like I'm wearing foundation when I wear it. I feel like it's medium to full coverage if you build it up. So it can be a really good foundation. I really enjoy it. I just need to get it in my right shade because I don't feel like this is my right shade anymore. I'm pretty sure this is my summer shade. So the next one, and I'm so sad because this one's almost empty. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte um, 
foundation. This is what the bottle looks like. I'm sure you guys have heard all about these L'Oreal Infallible foundations. They've been all the hype recently. Um, I have mine in the shade 101 Classic Ivory. It is. This is an absolutely great foundation. Again, it's another one that does a really good job at keeping me matte throughout the day. I can wear this for like 10, 12 hours and it really helps it stay on. It says it's a 24 hour wear. I don't wear it long enough to know that, but I know it's good at like 10 hours. So it definitely is a medium coverage foundation. I feel like you might be able to build it up to a full coverage foundation, but I don't know if you could do that without it making like cake face so you might not want to try that um I feel like if you have dry skin this might be too matte for you um especially if you have like excessive dry skin or like really dry skin around like acne spots I know this area right here in my forehead is like the only spot on my face that gets really dry so if I put like a matte foundation like a really matte foundation right there it looks really dry and cakey and gross so I would definitely have to say if you have super dry skin maybe stay away from this I know L'Oreal has other options now so maybe try one of them and see if you like them better um nonetheless I really enjoy this I think this might have been in my in last year's video I don't remember though but it might have been Highly recommend this. I'm going to have to go out and get another one when I finish this, but I think I might need to try a different shade. I feel like this is not my shade anymore. For concealer, I have two to mention this year. I want to I'm going to speed through um, this stuff cuz I don't want this video to be super long. But I have the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous um, concealer here. Really nice concealer. Um, I would say it's not like a super good coverage concealer. It's a pretty basic coverage concealer. I like using it just right kind of here or um, if I feel a blemish starting, like if I feel like a pimple coming on, I'll use it and it kind of helps a little bit. But it's definitely not one where like, like it completely covers up a really bad blemish or at least I haven't had very good luck with it doing that. So yeah. Pretty good um, concealer. I don't know if I would recommend it. Um, I like it, but eh. Okay. Next, this is my absolute favorite so far. I really enjoyed this. This is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector in Fair. It just comes in this little shade, and it's more of like a salmon color. You guys can see I've used quite a bit of it. I absolutely love this. I feel like it does a really good job of color correcting my dark circles under my eyes. I get really bad dark circles, especially when I'm like stressed out or during the holiday time. Hmm. So I feel like this, like I really do love this. I would highly recommend it if you ha get bad dark circles under your eyes, if you got them panda eyes. I would definitely recommend this one. NYX has three shades, I believe, so you should be able to find one or get to and mix and match and find a shade that will work for you. Highly recommend this. I will repurchase it. Two pow face powders for the year. Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. Really nice powder. I feel like it doesn't make cake face. It's really good at helping prolong the wear of my makeup. Hi Highly recommend it. Just like a basic... It's almost just like a basic powder but um it's just like a, it's just like a nice matte basic face powder all right next i have this one that i got at forever 21 and all i know is it's in the shade beige this is what it looks like it's a really nice powder i like using this powder if i want like during the summer because you can see it's obviously not like my color um because normally this is as dark as I'll get during the summer if I get this. Or if I want to add like a bit of color to my face. Like if I'm just having a really pale day. I'll just set my face with this. Normally I use it to set my eyes exactly. Actually after I prime. But it's a pretty decent powder. Okay, moving on. 
we're going to move on with face products. So I'm going to move on to um, highlighting products because I have the most to talk about there. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this one first. They're mainly drugstore too. I did good, guys. This is the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips in Vegas Strip. It says it's a light bronzer. This is what the packaging looks like. I think it's actually really cool because it's like sleek and clear. Um, let me get it open for you guys. This is what the packaging looks like. I can see where they could say like it could be a bronzer. Um, this would be too, like, it'd be more of like a shimmery bar bronzer. I mainly just stick to the first I normally just stick to the first three rows right there and pop that on. I think it makes a great highlight, super gorgeous. I do stay away from the bottom two shades. They are a bit too dark for my fair skin, but if you have darker skin, I feel like this would look gorgeous on you. Okay, so the next one I want to talk about is a high-end one. Um, this is what I ended up getting because I couldn't get the actual full-size one. This is the... Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the Jaclyn Hill, one of the splits. And this is um, Prosecco Pop and Pample Mousse. Um, I'm sure everybody knows this was super crazy when Jaclyn Hill came out with Prosecco Pop, her baby to Champagne Pop. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think I actually like Prosecco Pop a little bit better than Champagne Pop. It is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful highlight, great for a lot of skin tones, I feel, just like Champagne Pop was, um, and the blush is pretty nice, too. I don't use it very much, but love that highlighter. And the last ones I want to talk to you about, guys, I feel like Wet n Wild is doing like killed it for highlights especially for me this year I have three to talk about so the first one I'm going to talk about is the wet and wild illuminating palette and this is in catwalk pink so this is what the palette here looks like you've got these two more like blush shades I kind of actually use these as like blushes and stick to these two as um, actual highlighters. You could use these middle two as um, as highlighters if you want more of like a pinky, um, like a pinky highlight. I have mixed both of these. Like if I will, I will mix both of these and go right down the middle or swirl my brush and do mix the two colors and wear as a highlight. It's absolutely beautiful. It gives this nice pink sheen. Super pretty. Would highly recommend this. I really like this palette, which I actually didn't like it at first. But I have since grown to love it. This has easily become one of my all-time favorite highlighters. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection. Um, this is, and it's, um... Hollywood Boulevard. This is what it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a stunning, stunning highlight. I love that it has the gold, but it has the pink and the bronze in, shimmered in there. I feel like it just gives you this beautiful gold, like golden, bronzy highlight on the cheekbones. It looks absolutely gorgeous, and I highly, highly recommend it. As you can see, it's kind of beat up and dirty. But if you can't find that one, another good one is the Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade I'll Have a Cosmo. This is more of a really nice, light, like, pinky highlight. Like, if you're one who loves, like, that really nice, like, pink highlight sheen on the cheekbones, I feel like this is going to be absolutely great for you. It's super sheer, or not, like, sheer, but it's super like mellow absolutely gorgeous highlight all right so next we will go to um blushes and i have the 
three to talk about for 2016. Now this one is, this first one is from LA Colors. It's in the shade Natural. And this is it right here. It's just like a really nice mauve. It's coming off a bit more pink, I feel, but it's actually just a really nice like mooded mauve natural shade. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this on the cheekbones. Super duper pretty. And it almost has like a nice little golden sheen to it as well. If you look at it right, super pretty. The next one is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Blissful. I really enjoy this blush. This is more of like a bright pink blush. But I've really been enjoying the um, Tarte blushes. It's just really nice. Just gives like a nice pop of like pinky mauve on the cheeks. Gorgeous. And next I have to show you guys it this way because I haven't bought the full one yet. This is the Benefit um, blush in Rocket's Whore. Okay. So the blush is right there. Again, it's just like a really nice like mooded neutral mauve shade. Super duper gorgeous. It's right there. It's like one of those days when you don't feel like wearing makeup or you don't want it to look like you're wearing makeup. But you actually are. Okay, on to bronzers. I again have three to talk about. I have two from Too Faced. I have the chocolate so the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which is a medium to deep matte bronzer. This is just a gorgeous, more like like warm toned bron like orangey bronzer. It's absolutely gorgeous. I like using it during the summer when I actually have more of a tan. My one of my favorite ones this year has been the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer because it's more of a light to medium bronzer. I'm sure you guys have seen these a hundred times before. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Moving right along. I have my mini version of the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This baby has gotten some love. Just This is just a really nice matte classic bronzer. Again, these are all more of your like warm, like orangey toned bronzers, but nonetheless they're still gorgeous. I have two contour kits to talk about this year. I've got the Anastasia contour kit and I believe this is in the lighter shade. I absolutely love this contour kit. I love this middle shade. It is definitely my favorite. I feel like this is a really really nice contour kit. Highly recommend it. Next the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. Again absolutely great amazing quality just like the Anastasia one this shade is my favorite and this palette it's just a really nice cool toned almost gray bronzer absolutely love those so next we're going to get into some eye products I'm gonna mention my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer for the year. It was the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, the original one. I absolutely love this pri this eyeshadow primer. It's the eyeshadow primer I'm using today. I like this primer because I have really, really oily, greasy eyelids. And I feel like this is a really good eyeshadow primer. I'm starting to not, not like not like it, but I'm starting to want to try something new. So if you guys have any recommendations for eyeshadow primers, for like really oily lid girls, let me know. Um, the mascara I want to mention is the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. I talked about this in my favorites video that I uploaded, so I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. Um, I also want to talk about this um, eyeliner pencil. This is from Claire's. Um, it's the Cat. I believe it's called the Catwalk Eyeliner. I've rubbed the name completely off. It's just a black pointed twist up eyeliner pencil. Absolutely love this. It's a really great eyeliner pencil. I would highly recommend it. Another eyeliner I want to mention 
is I got this from Hot Topic. It's the Lovesick brand and it's the Smooth Criminal Black Gel Eyeliner. This is what it looks like. This is my most used and all time favorite black look black gel liner. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's really easy to work with. It does a great job. It stays on really long. Love it. So next we're going to go through palettes and I'm going to breeze through these kind of with you guys. So I have a lot of um, Too Faced. So I'm going to show you everything that's not Too Faced. So I have the Smashbox Shape Matters Eye Palette here. I love this palette. I feel like it has a white, like, it has just absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous shades in here. They are all matte, so if you're not for an all matte look, you will have to grab a shimmer from a different shade. But I absolutely love this. It's just such a nice brown, like, neutral palette. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. I think it's amazing. That was a little loud. Next, I have the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. Again, absolutely love this palette. I highly recommend it. I think you have a great mix. You have your more brownie neutral shades, and then you've got your pops of colors, your purple, your blue, a nice matte black in there. I don't know. I feel like it's just like a really great overall palette. Pigmentation is amazing. I feel like the eyeshadow quality is just like butter. I love it. I will, will continue to use it. And you know, you can transform the, um, the shades. Dampen a brush and the shades look completely different. Next one I want to mention is this one that I got again from Hot Topic. Mentioned that I mentioned this in my video last year, I believe. Really nice smoky palette. Love this black. I've hit pan. I love all of these shades. They're really great, amazing quality shadows. Highly recommend it. You should probably be able to find it online. Um, I don't know the brand or anything. I just know it's by Hot Topic. Okay, so now getting the... I have one more before we get into all my Too Faced ones. I have the, which I just recently got this, but I love it. I've used it almost every single day since I got it. This is the Studio Makeup On The Go Eyeshadow Palette. I got this in a boxy, yeah, boxy charm. This is what it looks like. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? You have a gorgeous variety of mattes and shimmers. And this is just, like, this palette is what I've been drawn to a lot recently, these colors. So I absolutely love it. So, now let's get into all of my Too Faced palettes I want to mention. I want to give a shout out to the Too Faced and My Sweet Chocolate Bar. We all know what this looks like. Absolutely amazing quality. Too Faced kills it with shadows. I love it. I feel like you can do so many things with this. I'm going to mention my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. Yeah. I feel like this is just an amazing neutral palette. So beautiful. You get a couple more like pops of shimmer, like shimmery shades you could use. I feel like this is an amazing palette. I I love it so much. I highly recommend it. Gorgeous. Especially if you love like brown and neutrals. Next one I want to give a shout out to is my Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I love this palette so much. I feel like it's just a fun palette. You get a really pretty pop of purple there. I don't know. I feel like this is just an amazing palette to have overall and I'm so excited to use it. The colors, like the shadows are amazing. Too Faced kills it with shadows. Next, this one is more recent and this is the Too Faced Totally Cute Eyeshadow Palette. This is how I decorated mine. And you know, I feel like this is an absolutely like amazing, just fun palette. You have some really pretty pops of color. These four are just gorgeous, like, pops of color. And then you have your two really nice matte, like, transition shades at the top. Really nice brow bone, like, inner corner colors. I really love this palette. I think it's absolutely amazing. These two middle ones are my favorite out of the whole palette. Highly recommend it if you can still get your hands on it. 
And lastly, we are going to breeze through lip products. All right, I kind of have a bit, but not much. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about liners first. Okay, so I have three whole lip liners for the year. Um, the first one I want to mention is, what brand is this? My NYX um, lip liner in the shade red. It's just like a retractable pencil. This is my favorite red lip liner. This is my favorite lip liner to use. That's the one thing. It breaks off really easy. You have to be really careful because it's really sensitive and it'll break off really easy. That's the one bad thing about it. But that's just because it's so like soft and easy to work with. It is my favorite lip liner to use if I'm going to do a red lip. My favorite one to use if I'm going to do a dark lip, this is by Black Hearts. I got it at Hot Topic. It's called Deepest Purple, and it's just this really, like, deep, dark purple shade. I love to grab this and pull this if I'm going to do, like, a dark purple look. And then my last favorite is Jordana number 47, Superstar. This is more of like a violet like pink shade absolutely gorgeous I love to grab this if I'm going to do like a pink look or a nude look or a neutral like a mauve lip I love this lip liner so much it's my absolute favorite and it's Jordana so it's cheap okay for lipsticks I have one two Five to mention. Gosh, I didn't use that many lipsticks this year. I feel like okay. So my first one is the Bite Beauty Matte Lipstick in Elderberry. I, you guys, I love this freaking lipstick so much. It is this beautiful dark purple shade absolutely gorgeous goes great with that lip liner that I just showed you guys it's a beautiful berry purple I'm trying to dig okay dig out the rest here okay so the next one I want to go ahead and mention is by L'Oreal and this is in the shade 620 and this is what it looks like here. It is this absolutely gorgeous lipstick. I love the L'Oreal lipstick line, especially this this line. This is specifically the color rich or color rich line. Absolutely gorgeous. It's such a pretty shiny lipstick. Next, I'm going to mention my what is this? What brand is this? Okay, it's Rimmel. This is the Rimmel by Kate. And this is the 107. This is one of my favorite lipsticks if I want to do, if I'm going for a red lip. This is one of my favorites. It's, an, ah, like, it's a gorgeous matte red. Super duper pretty. It has a bit... It's like more of a deeper red to super duper gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I have two Milani ones to mention. First, I have Milani Matte Naked, which is this absolutely gorgeous like pale nude shade. It is so, so stinking pretty. I absolutely love this shade. It's one of my favorite lipsticks that I discovered for the year of 2016 like how could you not love that it is gorgeous and the last lipstick I'm going to mention is matte kiss by Milani this is one of my favorite reds if I want that like holiday like Taylor Swift red it is such a gorgeous matte red lipstick I highly recommend it it has a really nice stain power too I absolutely love it oh I forgot um this this is a color pop lippy stick that I forgot so I'll throw in with lipsticks I guess in the shade oh snap and it's matte and I have almost used this thing like all the way up guys it is absolutely gorgeous if you guys haven't seen this this is my favorite um color pop lippy stick 
because it's just I feel like it's just such a pretty unique shade it is so gorgeous and next I want to mention four liquid lipsticks for you guys um, the first one I'm going to mention is the Milani one in Loved or number 12. It is just such a beautiful, gorgeous shade. I'll do a little swatch for you guys. I absolutely love this. Now, I will say the formula dries my lips out. It dries down to a matte, matte it dries my lips out, you guys. But it is such a gorgeous, long-wearing liquid lipstick that I, I love it. Next, I want to mention my Sephora Rouge Cream Lip Stain in the shade 15. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's one of those nice, pretty, dark purples. Give you guys a little swatch. I absolutely love this. So it is a bit on the sheer side. So you do have to work it up. But it is so incredibly gorgeous. I love it, you guys. Um, I don't feel like it dries out my lips as much as the Milani one either. Okay, next I have two Kat Von D ones. Um, this first one is Kat Von D Outlaw. It's this gorgeous gorgeous I wore this the other day and I wore it like three days straight it is this absolutely gorgeous like I always get complimented when I wear this gorgeous gorgeous red shade beautiful like holiday Taylor Swift red again just, just it's just perfect it's beautiful now the Kat Von D formula and at the be like in the beginning when I first started wearing it it dried my lips out so bad but over the time, I think my lips have gotten used to it because it doesn't dry them out as much as it used to. Last one I want to mention is in the shade Love, or L-U-V. It is this gorgeous, like, violety purple pink shade. It is so pretty, you guys. I love this shade. I feel like it's absolutely gorgeous. And it is that shade right there. I actually love doing the outer part of my lip with this dark purple one and doing the inner inner like rim part with this one from Kat Von D. I love it. I feel like it's a great combo. And then lastly, I want to mention two setting or three setting sprays. Let me grab them. I forgot to grab them. I want to mention. My e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I absolutely love this makeup setting spray. I feel like this is an absolutely gorgeous setting spray. I'm almost out. I really like how it effect, like, affects the long wear of my makeup. Next, I have the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. Same thing here. It's an absolutely great makeup setting spray. I feel like it does a really good job at holding my makeup into place and prolonging the wear of it. And lastly, my third favorite, um, and recent discovery because I purchased it a while back, tried it a couple times and forgot about it, is the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I absolutely love this setting spray because as somebody with oily skin, I really like a setting spray that can do a matte job. I really like like a matte finish. And this does such a great job of not only mattifying my makeup when I spray it on, but keeping it matte and holding it in place without looking like overly dry or cakey throughout the day. I highly recommend this. I feel like it is a great matte setting spray. If you really need a matte setting spray, I highly recommend trying this one. So that is it, guys. That is everything for my best in beauty of 2016. I feel like it was a pretty good makeup year for 2016. Let me know what is your guys' favorite makeup products for the year of 2016. I would love to know. And until next time, bye guys. Mwah.